Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Coder. We are going to start with part 9 of our 2048 tutorial today, and that means we are going to work on our sounds. Um, so, this is probably going to be the simplest tutorial out of all of them, and probably the most shortest, which is good because this will get me to uh, practice uh, making shorter tutorials because I know a lot of you are like, ah, they're so long, you know, but ah, there's so much material to cover all the time. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to break these into smaller tutorials and try to keep them under 20 minutes. That's going to be a challenge, but we'll see how that goes. So let's start with, oh God. All right. So I'm going to add at least 30 seconds to my tutorial by saying this, but <laughs> we hit 2000 subscribers, which is so cool, right? Because it, that's just so many people. Um, I know that there are YouTubers out there who have uh, hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers, but uh, I'd like to think that we are a really special uh, niche, a very small group of people who are interested in this kind of stuff. So I think hitting 2,000 subscribers on something like this is is, uh, is an awesome achievement. For me, anyways, I feel that way. Um, if, I, if I ever hit 100,000, I... I don't know, I'll probably explode, but you know, uh, I, I want to, I would just want to take this time to say thank you to all of you. I appreciate, uh, the amount of time that you spend watching my tutorials. You certainly could be doing other things. And, uh, I appreciate all the feedback, the likes, the shares, everything that you guys do without you guys, this channel wouldn't even be possible. I probably would have given up already. Uh, I mean, what's to do YouTube tutorials with like one or 10 subscribers? Why, why keep going? So, uh, I'm going to continue doing these, and uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's, let's uh, get started with this tutorial and still keep it under 20 minutes. All right, so the first thing we need to do before we do any other kind of uh, programming or whatever is we need to make sure that we have an audio source somewhere in our game that we can access. And I think the best place to put that is since our game script um, are, is a component of the grid, game object right here in the hierarchy. You'll see the grid game object. And then we look in the inspector, we see the game as a component of that game object. I think the best place to add our audio source uh, would be there. So let's go ahead and click add component. And we're gonna type audio source in the search. And there it is, oops, audio source. So just click on that and I'll just pop in there. So at this point, we don't have to do anything else there. Uh, we can uncheck play on awake, uh, even though it doesn't matter because uh, this would only be true if we actually had something set as an audio clip, which we don't. Um, so play on awake, whether it's on or off, doesn't make a difference. So right now we're just gonna keep that unchecked anyways. So, and that's it. That's literally all we have to do in the Unity editor. So we're just gonna save our scene and uh, then we're going to go into the scripts folder and open up our game script. And we're waiting for that to launch. Okay, it launched off the screen, so we'll just move it over here. And it's still loading. All right. So here's our game script and updates. All right. um, so yeah, this is what we've got. Not too bad. Where are we at? Uh, 531 lines of code for 2048. Not bad at all. And that includes all the animation stuff. So what we need are variables, of course. Um, oh, and by the way, the, uh, the sound files that you're going to use for this. Uh, they're already part of the assets that you would have downloaded for the first tutorial. So if you don't have those, swing back over for the first tutorial. Uh, click on the, uh, or in the description, you'll see a link uh, to my blog where you can download those uh, assets. So you'll need those sounds. All right, so uh, I guess after we define this variable would be a good spot. So from here, we're just going to create an audio clip for both uh, moving the tiles and for swap or merging them. So there are two different sounds. There's a sound when you move the tile, so it goes whoosh. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, and uh, when you merge the tiles, they kind of just clink together. 
Okay, so those are two the two sounds that we're going to work with. So we're going to do a public audio clip and move tiles sound. And we're going to do another one, audio clip. I'm going to call this one merge tiles sound. How original. Okay. So and then we also need to get a reference to the audio source. And um, what we'll do is we're going to create this one privately. And we're going to say audio source, um, audio source. So we'll just call it audio source. Keep things simple. So in the start method, we don't have anything except for generating a new tile. But what we want is we're going to grab an a reference to our audio source that is that we added to our um, grid game object. So we're going to do audio source equals transform. So this transform a get component, and we're going to get the audio source component. Okay. So I shouldn't have to explain this line very much. Basically, we're taking the audio source component that we added to the grid game object in Unity just a few minutes ago. We're getting a reference to that and we're assigning it to the audio source variable so that when we want to reference the audio source, we don't have to continuously do transform nugget component audio source and then access the methods in it. We can just use the audio source. It's kind of like a, we can call it a shortcut in a way. All right. That is definitely not the proper terminology, but we can uh, we can work with that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to play a sound when we move the tiles. So we need to go to the move tiles where we move the tiles. And let's see, where did I have that? Uh, so we would be somewhere in here. All right. So this would probably be a good place, right? If we have uh, if tiles moved count does not equal zero. Um, for me, that's on line two nineteen, but it's inside the move all tiles method. Okay. And that happens when we move the tiles. So this sound will play for when we press a button. So we press the button and you'll hear this swoosh sound and that moves all the tiles. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to actually put um, brackets around this if statement and then put this line into that because we need to add more than just the one line to the if statement. So here all we need to do is we do audio source dot play one shot and move tile sound all right so this is uh, this is a very cool um, method that we have for our audio source component is uh, play one shot basically what that means is it plays a specified audio clip one time okay and uh, yeah, that's that's it for moving the tiles. So now we just have to play a sound when we merge the tiles. And that happens in the enumerator for sliding uh, slide tile. Okay. So maybe right after we increment our score, let's put audio source. You guys remember? Play one shot. And then we just specify the audio clip, which is merge tile sound. Okay. So now what? Well, <laughs> now uh, we have to do something that I told you we wouldn't have to do anymore, but that is to go into Unity and um, we have to actually specify the audio clips. So let's close out of Visual Studio. I was almost going to call it Mono Develop. <laughs> I still take getting some uh, taking used to it. Take some getting used to still. All right. Um, so in our sounds folder, we've got click and swoosh. All right. So if we go to our grid game object in our hierarchy and then move over to where our audio, our, our, our game script is at, 
you'll see that we've got two new properties and they are move tile sound and merge tile sound. So what do we do? We take those and we just drag them over. So we click and drag click. Okay, the click sound will go to merge tiles. And the swoosh sound will go to move tiles. And that really is all there is to it. There's nothing else. So let's go and try this out. So we're going to click play. And we're going to swoosh and swoosh and merge. All right. You guys can hear that? It's perfect. All right, I'm not going to bore you with, uh, you know, <laughs> sitting here and having to watch me play this game. So, um, wow, I think this tutorial is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it was. Yeah, we're we're at we're at eleven minutes right now. Um, probably the shortest tutorial ever that I've ever made. I mean, I could add more stuff in, but then you guys would just get angry and be like, "Oh, the tutorials are too long." Um, so let's let's not make it any longer than it already is. Um, and uh, I'll just maybe I don't know. I'll say one more thing, and uh, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just happy that I'm at two thousand subscribers. I mean, you know. I go around to my family and I'm like, yo, I got 2,000 YouTube subscribers. And they're like, wow, that's so cool. And in the back of their mind, they're probably like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's cool. I, I never thought I'd have more than 100 subscribers. I don't know. Um, you guys are cool, like, for subscribing to my channel. Hope you guys enjoy these tutorials and continue to enjoy them. Um, I will upload another episode uh, next week, of course. We are getting close to the end of this tutorial, and uh, I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't started to work on any new tutorials yet, which is not a good thing because um, I usually like to have my uh, tutorials completed, or, or not my tutorials, but my actual projects that I use for the tutorials. I like to have those completed before I start the tutorials so that I kind of have... Um, already, you know, a, a path and some direction that I'm going to set for myself to get these tutorials done. And really, honestly, that is the only way too that I can see um, be, being able to time manage these episodes better. Uh, so I think that uh, if we don't decide on a new game soon, uh, then there may be some like uh, time that passes without some new episodes. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to receive, to receive notifications. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Thanks, everybody, for helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. I'll see you next week.